The movie opens in a vast hall with numerous students and an announcer announcing the finale of the Dignity Cup competition where students from eight colleges are to compete and the best player from the winning team will be crowned student of the year. Just as the competition begins, Mia, a pretty girl is seen cheering for Rohan. Rohan is a strong and handsome student. He steps onto the court after winning the trophy, starts talking about the importance of chasing dreams and that his dream isn't to win the trophy, it is rather to tell Mia he loves her. She approaches him and says I love you. The scene quickly switches back to the classroom at Pishori, where Rohan is currently daydreaming that his dreams about Mia had come true. He chats with his friend after class, and we are treated to clips of them growing up together, going to the same schools as kids, and being really close friends for 12 years. But now they go to different colleges. He goes to Pishori Commandas, an old and poor college, and she now goes to St. Teresa, an expensive one, and he will need a 20 lakh check to get into the college. While he is standing in front of St. Teresa's gate with his friend, a young girl drives up in a very beautiful car and drives through the gates. The security man at the gate tries to chase the boys away, but Rohan takes a quick selfie with him. Promising to take a smiling selfie with him on the day, he gains admission into the college. The security man promises to shave off his rich beard, but when that happens, at the assembly, the Dignity Cup competition is announced amid so many comic actions. The announcer was vehement that they will not be in last place this year, and also about showing their rival college how ready they are to compete. Rohan and a couple of the guys train in preparation for the upcoming competition. He succeeds easily, but he is angry that his team is not performing as well as they should. A bit of fisticuff occur before the group disperse. He walks home to find a letter waiting for him. He has won a sports scholarship to go to St. Teresa College. He is overjoyed and runs out of the house to inform Mia of his new situation. She was sleeping when he got there, so he leaves to make preparations for his first day. He buys new clothes and improves his old bag to look more artsy with some paint. He cuts open his denim trousers to make them look chic and says goodbye to the boys from his former college. His first day at St. Teresa is eventful. He walks all over the campus in search of Mia. No one seemed to know who she is, because he keeps asking for Medulla, the name she has borne all her life. But then someone mentions it might be Mia Chavla he's looking for. He finally goes to Audi, where Mia's group were having their auditions. He walks to the spot and finds a girl on stage dancing. At first he thought it was Mia, but it wasn't. She is a very rude girl, the same one he had met at the gate the last time. And she is very rude rude to others, when she is the one who couldn't follow the tempo of the music. Rohan challenges her, and dances to the music tempo, and even when she increases the speed out of spite, he still keeps to the tempo. She pushed the amplifier down, and asks that the bills be sent to her father. Mia doesn't react the way he had hoped she would, she seemed uninterested in him, and advises him to avoid the girls in the college, as they are all out of his league. When he indicates he is only interested in her, she says she has evolved, and he shouldn't have tried coming to St. Teresa for her. At the assembly ground the next day, the Dignity Cup is announced, and the captain who has been a student of the year over the past two years is announced and he happens to be Manav. He had just introduced himself to Rohan at the assembly ground, and the girl Rohan had disgraced with his dancing the day before happens to be his mischievous sister, Shreya. At the gym, Shreya convinces Rohan to try and seduce the coach with his biceps so he can get into the team and have a shot at winning Mia back. At the first trials for the 100 meters race, Rohan surprises everybody. He beats the previous record set by Manav and everyone applauds him. Mia wants to be seen with him again. She writes him a note, like the one he wrote her when they were kids with the words, friends, dance with me. They become friends again, and are seen everywhere together. He is happy once more, and tells her his dream is making her dreams come true. At the gym, they play Kabaddi. Manav handles it easily, then Rohan steps up and fails, and he invites Rohan to his birthday party. His old friends from the former college see him outside, and try to have him get them in, but Mia drags him away. Shreya tries to embarrass Rohan, by bringing his friends into the club, and a fight soon breaks out. His friends are thrown out, and Mia wants him to sever all ties with his friends. Rohan drags a parking spot with Shreya, and she paints his bike pink. Her father was invited to 
to the dean's office, and he slaps her in front of Rohan and the dean, and she goes dancing away her sorrows. Rohan comes over, trying to be friends, but she doesn't want his friendship. She wants to destroy him at the dance competition, and warns him not to grow soft. Rohan appears to be making fast friends with Manav. Manav and Shreya practice for the dance, while Mia and Rohan practice. We can notice, that Mia appears to be having feelings for Manav, but Rohan tattoos her name on his hand, not knowing what was going on. At the dance competition, there's a slight mishap, and Mia slips and falls out of Rohan's hands. Manav and Shreya win the competition. Rohan goes seeking out Mia to console her, but finds her with her arms around Manav's neck. He hits Manav and leaves. The next day, Rohan is thrown out of St. Teresa. Manav is waiting outside and start hitting him. He and his friends team up and beat him again. Rohan leaves St. Teresa battered and broken, and he watches his dream slip away from his grasp. He tries reconnecting with his old friends, but they walk out on him, and he's forced to watch, as Mia carries on with Manav. While he suffers his pains, his mother advises him to work on his own talent, and let things fall into place, and says that Mia was only trying to find herself, and he must find himself too. He rides to St. Teresa in his old uniform, and challenges Manav, informing him, that he is coming for his student of the year title. Rohan returns to his old college, and the teachers wish to make him captain of the team. But he would rather remain simply a member of the team than take the captaincy from his colleague who is jealous of Rohan. Back at St. Teresa, Shreya goes looking for Mia. She asks her to help her get Manav expelled, just the same way she got Rohan. Rohan goes back to training with his former team, the captain tells him to sit in the reserves. Shreya comes to visit Rohan and brings him the trophy. She says she didn't know about Manav and Mia's plans to cheat at the dance competition. As it turns out, the fall was a plan between Mia and Manav, and Shreya doesn't want a part of it. She asks Rohan to team up with her in the biggest dance competition in town bigger than the college dance competition. She yells at Rohan's friends for being mad at him for something he didn't do. And it turns out that she was the one who had set them up for disgrace at the party. They have a rethink and begin to accept him slowly back into the group. Rohan and his friends go to the dance club to speak to Shreya. He runs into Mia but didn't speak to her. The next day, while rolling out with his bike, he finds Shreya waiting for him. They begin to practice their dance together in his neighborhood and become the cynosure of all eyes. Back home, Shreya opens a cake. She sings happy birthday to herself, imagines that there are people in the room and thanks them for coming. She makes it lively, even when it should have been dull and sad. Her father doesn't mention her birthday, and her brother too. She goes back to the spot where she dances with Rohan, and he is there with lots of people for a surprise birthday party he had planned for Shreya. She is surprised that he knew her birthday, and he explains he found out through Facebook. This gesture makes her so happy, and they continue continue with their training in several scenes. In college, he continues to train for Kabaddi with his friends. Shreya has fallen for him and says it in so many ways, but he thinks she's only making a joke and they spend a lot of time together now. They finally attend the dance competition and win. Shreya is so happy, but she says she can't take the trophy home because it won't matter to her family. He asks about her mother, and she says she died while giving birth to her, and says her father calls her jinxed, which is why they don't celebrate her birthday at home. Just as Rohan hugs Shreya, he sees Mia sitting at his doorstep. She says she is sorry, and states that she is no longer with Manav. Shreya wants to send her away, but she asks that they speak elsewhere. He agrees, and they go to sit at a cafe. He looks at the long letters she wrote him. Mia apologizes again, but Shreya is having none of it. She feels Mia is simply playing a game, and advises Rohan against believing her. Shreya pours coffee on Mia, and Rohan yells at her. He asks her to leave, while he cares for Mia, and she leaves in sadness. The next day, Shreya and her father are eating breakfast, in silence. Rohan walks in right after Shreya, and asks to go to a dance school in London, but her father says no. Rohan brings the trophy they had won the night before, and lays it on the table, and tells her father she is the best dancer in the city, then says congratulations to her and leaves. Now it is time for the annual Inter-College Dignity Cup which will be hosted by St. Teresa College. When Manav and his friends try to beat Rohan's friends, Rohan fights back and beats Manav. The fighting brings Rohan's team together, and they train harder in the one month leading up to the games. Shreya's father has agreed to send her to London because he saw what she achieved. Rohan tells her he loves her, and she says she doesn't love him. 
The D-Day arrives and eight colleges compete. One of wins the first two races, Rohan wins the 800 meters race. By the end of day one, St. Teresa leads, while Pishori is fifth. And Rohan makes it to the finals with his old college. Mia is trying her best to show she loves him, but he chose Shreya and asked her again to be his. The final is between St. Teresa and Pishori, and Rohan wins the Dignity Cup with his old college. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I got to brag I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.